So tonight's matchup, we have the Memphis Tigers versus the Kentucky Wildcats. Kentucky's home building. We're going to get off and start here with the player introductions. At point, number 18. All right, as you can see here, folks, the Memphis Tigers are off 5-7, to seven, and the Wildcats are starting 6-8. And, and as we're getting ready for tip-off, folks, you can see that these two teams have decent players, and these players are looking to put on a show for us tonight. All right, and starting small four for the Kentucky, Andrew Kazuki averaging... 17 points in the last five games on 82% true shooting. He's been actually tearing up the floor lately and hopes to continue this during this game. All right, as the players are moving forward, it looks like we're getting ready to begin tip-off, folks. And all right, SGBA, we are in action as Kentucky starts with the ball. Kazuki has the ball on the right block, right wing of the court. They're looking to get some action moving here as the play develops. They toss the ball to Julio Knight. He crosses, gets to the lane. Doesn't see any space yet, but there's not a lot of movement on the court so far. Well, he's dribbling through. Two seconds left on the shot clock. He gets it, and he gets it in. I didn't expect that one to go in. As you can see, Julio Knight averages 27 points per game this season on 65% true, true shooting. These guys have just been absolutely tearing it up on this court. All right, the Memphis looks to move the ball around, you know, get everybody involved in the play. As they find an open man here, King has the ball. He spins back, bump fakes, gets one guy in the air and steps through with the layup. King starts it off for the Memphis Tigers. All right, Kentucky's bringing up the ball on the left wing this time. Find an open man. Knight takes it. Dishes to Kazuki. Swing to Pope. Back to Kazuki. In the corner to Knight. With seven seconds left, he takes the screen. Has the big man on the block. Takes the pull up and nets it down. All right. As Jackson takes up the ball for the Tigers. Pass it to, pass it to their big man. Looking to get some action from who knows who. But the play is going to develop here. I see a down screen happening for Jackson right into the middle of the paint. Gets the layup and puts it over the big man. Mikel Jackson, what a great play by him. Absorbed all the contacts, switched to his left hand too. All right. Knight's bringing up the ball. He passes it to Scott. But it's back to Knight as he lets a play develop. Not a lot of action here. But Scott has it in the post. Kazuki tries to get some penetration, but they're swinging it. The shot clock's going down steadily. He passes out. They're going to have to put up a desperation shot here. And that shot doesn't go down. Number 21, Coles was set up in that corner. They didn't know what to do there. Tigers look to take advantage of that play and gain momentum of this game early. They find his man open. Ooh. What a three ball by Brady King. What a beautiful play as you see the power forward setting the down screen for him on the three-point line. All right, Scott's bringing up the ball for the Wildcats. I see a screen to get Knight open. He's putting Mikel on skates just a little bit. A little shifty there, but he passes right out the block. Scott has it. Goes to the lane. Right hand finish. What a nice play by Denzel Scott. Broke his defender down, Brady King. Got right by him for the right-handed layup. All right, five minutes left in the first. Swings it to Brady. Back to their big man. 
Moreland has it. Can't find anybody right now. Not a lot of movement. Back to Moreland at the top, but back to Jackson as he drives with six seconds left. Everybody's on the wing, so he's going to have to put something up with Knight right in his face. Doesn't get that one to fall either. All right, Kentucky. Moving the ball a little bit. A little snatch back there. That was a little fancy for the point guard, Coles. He takes the screen. Will he find the roller? No, he passes to Kazuki for three. Boom. Nets that one home. Kazuki trying to keep that same energy, that same fire he's been bringing the last five games. All right, here's Brady. He takes it all around. Finds Mikel open. He drives with a little bit of space he has. Right hand. Ooh, what a nice spin move. And I said the right hand. He finished with the left hand jumper. Into the left hand. That was nice. Beautiful kiss off the glass. All right, Scott's bringing up the ball again. I see a screen to get Knight open at the top of the key. He drives and takes the tough layup and puts it down. Julio Knight still contribu contributing in all ways he can for the Kentucky Wildcats. All right, Mikel Jackson brings up the ball. Dishes it to King. Moreland has it. The center dribbling a lot. Gets the foul and one. Shooting foul on Daniels. That was not a good foul. Daniels' situation is John Moreland broke him down. Right, right hand cross to a right hand finish. Touch off the glass was beautiful. Shooting the first free throws of the game for the Memphis Tigers. Moreland averaging 15 points per game and close to nine rebounds as the starting center for the Tigers. Let's hope Moreland can, con can convert the and one play. Knocking down this free throw and putting Memphis up by one as he does. Three minutes and 43 seconds left in the first. He tosses it into their center to bring up the ball. I see them running that same action play that they normally run with Pope, using Kazin Kazuki instead, but he takes the screen and gets the and one play. Julio Knight, just a dominant basketball player, starting off the game four for four from the field. Knight averages 26 points on the season. Insane work by Julio Knight. Using that screen, taking the open space, and converting on the end one play. One shot. Knight's been leading the charge for this team. The numbers he puts up are insane at the point guard position. Following right behind him is, his, is Coles, the other point guard, averaging 22.7. He's definitely going to knock down this free throw to start off the game nine with nine points. Now that the Wildcats have a two-point lead due to that play, let's see what they run to get themselves back into it, back to tying this game. Orland has it. Takes the... Oh, my gosh, McHale with a beautiful pass to John Moreland for the two-handed flush right over Daniels. That's nasty work. Too much talking and not enough watching for me. And Scott bringing up the ball. Sees Knight. Daniels come over, comes over to take the screen. How's Moreland going to play this this time? He drops back with Daniels. Oh, my goodness. Knight. Knight found Kazuki's man slipping, and Kazuki dropped the three. Beautiful play. All right, Moreland sees Jackson, but they're doing a lot of swing action with Maxfield. Moreland takes it, a tough midi, and drops it over Daniels. Moreland's coming alive tonight this game. Scott's bringing up the ball again. Pope runs that same action with Knight. Get him open at the block. Another left side screen. He takes it. He drives. Dishes it down to Daniels. He puts up the tough left hand layup. Chester Daniels putting himself on the board tonight. All right, Jackson. 
Not taking the screen. Doesn't hit Moreland. But he has a lot of space on this wing. He doesn't use it. King Moore has the ball with nine seconds. To his left hand. Drives, takes the contact, and flushes it. The foul is on Pope. What a beautiful way to use your body to absorb the contact and just fight through the defense. Seems like Pope doesn't like the foul there, but there was a lot of contact on that play. This game has been going back and forth as King Moore wants to tie this game with two minutes left. Pope showing no emotion on this play. No, that's the way to do it. You just got to move on and fight through for the next play. King Moore takes the free throw and nets that one too. Now the game's tied 19-19. All right, Popes wants to get some action back, it seems, but no, he drops it off to his point guard at the top. Daniel sets the screen on the right side, knocks him down, but dishes to the corner for Scott from the three. Beautiful play. Denzel Scott not nets the open shot. His man had to come over after seeing Jackson get knocked down by the screen. And Moreland has the ball. Dishes it to King, though. King steps back, takes a three ball, doesn't hit it. That would have been a nice play. Beautiful step back right there. Kazuki has the ball. Wildcats are looking to gain momentum of this game as the Memphis Tigers lost their chance to even it out. Hope has it at the top. Gives it to Knight. Here's Daniel with the fake screen. He slips back. Four seconds on the shot clock. He's driving on the big. He stops, tries to put up a left hand, tries. Did I say tries? He actually made that thing. Julio Knight, 11 points, 10 points in the paint. Five from five from the field. Just amazing. Moreland trying to return the favor as he drops it down to Mikel Jackson with a circus shot. What a tough layup by Mikel Jackson. You know what I'm saying? MJ-like. And I'm talking about the smooth criminal. Right here are the Wildcats. Drops to Daniel at the top. The key. Here's Pope with the ball. I see a play ran for Knight. They don't take it, but he's going to run around again. What stamina he has. Takes the ball. After all that running, pumps, pulls up. Doesn't hit that shot. I knew he had to be tired for that one. That's the first missed shot for Knight tonight. As King's taking the ball in transition. Wildcats stop the fast break. King gets the screen from Moreland. Dips it to Jackson in the post with the fader. Jackson. Ooh, what a tough shot by Mikel Jackson at the end of the quarter. And that is it, folks, for the first quarter. What a beautiful game going on right now. And I'll tell you, it's close. Kentucky Wildcats with the one-point lead. All right, folks, we're back at the start of the second. The Tigers are taking the ball out. Tigers looking to take advantage of the second quarter. What a beautiful screen by Moreland. He gets his man off of him and has the mismatch. Doesn't take it. King sees Dennis Scott as food. What a beautiful spin move. And that puts them up by one point. Denzel Scott has it. Passes tonight at the top. Daniels with a nice screen. Kazuki's man almost came over gave, giving up that three. But Denzel crosses his man and it in. Oh my goodness, what a crossover by Denzel Scott. Sending his man to hell and back. Oh my God, the Tigers return the favor with a three ball from Brady King. There's too much going on right now for me to take in. Lord have mercy. All right, here's Denzel Scott taking charge. Taking charge of this ball. He sees King as food, trying to get him in the action again, but nope, it's the Knight. Left side screen for Knight. Dishes it to Kazuki in the corner for three. Boom, bye, yeah. That is Kazuki's third three of the game. 
They're running the same play for him every time, and he is hitting every time. All right, here's King Moore. Passes it to Moreland. I see a down screen for Jackson. He catches the lob from Moreland. What an amazing play as he hung on the rim. Memphis Tigers are up too. Wildcats are not phased by that play. They look to keep the action going. Pope for three, and he nets a three ball. That puts them up by one point. These SGBA games, man, they're crazy. The momentum swings every time. King Moore brings the ball to court. Uh-oh. Pope strips him of his pocket. He's not going to let that happen again. Uh, Knight screen. Knight and Daniels seems to be a go-to. He crosses by King Moore. <laughs> and he puts it over his head. Had that man looking like he saw a spaceship flying. Goodness gracious, what a slam. Cal Jackson bringing up the ball. Moreland's been doing really good as a playmaker for this team. That's what I've noticed. Brady King doesn't like what he's seeing from this offense. He sees King Moore for three. That is one thing the Tigers do is they return the favor every time. Denzel Scott calls Brady out of his socks. What does Brady do? Return the favor with a three ball. King Moore gets dunked on. What does he do? Return the favor on the three ball. Tigers are no joke, man. But Knight sees food, takes a tough layup right over Mikel Jackson. Julio Knight leading the charge for his team every time down the stretch. And it's not even the stretch. Kentucky by two points. Mikel trying to give a little shake and bake. Takes a Moreland screen. Moreland's at the top of the key still. Jackson gets to that paint and returns the favor. You might as well call the Tigers the return team because they're returning every time they get, they get sauced up on. All right, here's Daniels to Kazuki for another three ball. That is four threes for Kazuki this game. 12 points. Keeping that 17 point per game average going steadily. There's King Moore. Takes a right hand pulley. Makes it. They don't, they don't know that that mid range game is insane. Look at the field goal percentage, guys. These two teams are just shooting the lights out right now. Here's Knight. Sees food again. Oh my goodness. Gets right by Jackson and takes the dunk. A blow by animation, just beautiful. Jackson has it. Is he going to return the favor like they always do? King Moore says has his other plans. Moreland passes to Brady. They're swinging the ball back to Moreland, back to Brady. Six seconds on the shot clock. He gets by him, takes a tough floater over Denzel Scott. What a nice play. Brady has 12 points in the game. 83 field goal percentage in 13 minutes. You know these boys are playing. All right, Knight takes another screen. He throws the lob to Daniels. What a lob by Julio Knight to Chester Daniels. That two-man game they have is magnificent. All right, here's Moreland. Getting everybody involved in the play. I like what I see here from him. Gives it back to Jackson. Right by him and dunks it on Knight. Mikel Jackson doesn't care who is in front of him. He's yamming on them all. All right, the Wildcats up one point. Daniels takes it at the top, dishes to Pope. Pope doesn't like what he sees. Takes the screen, gets into the paint, but gets stopped in his tracks. Takes a tough, whoa, real fancy now. A tough step jumper from Pope. Wildcats up three points. Mikel takes the screen from Moreland. He gets through that paint and another dunk by Mikel Jackson. He is on fire right now, putting this team on his back, doing whatever he can. All right, 
Here's Denzel Scott. See this action. Here's Knight. He gets by him, takes a tough right hand layup, and finishes. These two teams are going back and forth right now. All right, here's King Moore. Looking for something to be ran. Orleans open. But he doesn't get it to him. He throws a lob and it's caught by Kazuki. Kazuki's bringing up with the ball. Passes it to Pope on the transition. Pope doesn't get it down. Here's Moreland bringing it up to Brady. Watch Brady on this play, Two folks. He gets me. Loses his man. Off ball and nets a three ball. Brady, 15 points on the night. 10 points in the second quarter. He is on fire. All right. Knight looks to respond as the game's tied. Takes the Daniel screen. They leave their man in the corner. Denzel Scott! A no-look three-pointer for Denzel Scott. That play opens up so much space. It's like you don't want to give up the two, but you also don't want to give up the three. It's hard to guard. Very hard to guard. As Moreland takes it in, takes it on Daniels. Doesn't like what he's seeing. Cal dishing it. I did. Very indecisive on this play. One second left. A tough three. I don't know what the Tigers were doing on that play. Looks like they couldn't make up their mind. But here's Pope in the post. Would love to see Denzel get busy. But you got to go to what's working. Another corner three. No. Kazuki passed up an open corner three to Denzel. For a nice spin. But Kazuki's open again for three. <laughs> a relocation three for Andrew Kazuki. He's just open all the time. That's five threes now for Kazuki. 15 points. I know this box score is looking insane with the amount of players scoring right now. Memphis Tigers are losing momentum. Down six points. I see them running a play, a wide open man for three. And that is a beautiful three-point shot by Derek Maxfield. He's having a very quiet night right now. As someone for their, to be their leading scorer, you ever, they haven't seen him much this game. Right, here's Knight, a straight line drive. Left hand layup, bank it. Call it guys, call it. And we're not even at halftime yet. He's dang near, near 20 points. Somebody stop this man. Brady pushes the ball in transition. Gets by one man band. All the way through transition, he gets the dunk off, and now the Tigers are down three. But you know how Knight responds. He likes to take whatever action is given to him and get it through. I see four seconds left on the shot clock. He gets by the man off the screen. Right hand layup from the left to the right switch to end the quarter. Julio Knight. Leading the charge for the Kentucky Wildcats at halftime. SGBA fans, we're back to start the third quarter. Julio Knight having 23 points and 9 assists at the half is just outright insane. He's looking to tear up the Tigers right now. In that second quarter, they had no answer for him. Let's see how the Tigers switch up their game plan and get something going for themselves in the third. All right, King to Maxfield. Told you he's had a quiet night. Takes a right-handed layup. That's the fifth point for Derek Maxfield this game. Seems as though he's the only one that hasn't been involved. But now he's st starting to get himself rolling. Kazuki bringing up the ball. Interesting. 
I feel as though Knight's going to come around to take it at the top of the key. Like I said, because I've seen this play. Back to Kazuki, back to Knight. Where's the Daniel screen at? Oh, no screen this time. Denzel Scott has the ball, but it dips it down to Knight. Knight sees an open Denzel. Boom. Boom. Shakalaka. Tray ball. Stop leaving me open. It's what Daniel Denzel Scott is saying. All right, Mikel Jackson. Moreland has it. Don't know what to do. Brady has it. Maxfield has it. Brady sees an opening, takes the pump, puts up a tough one, and still gets it over his defender. What a beautiful play by Brady King. Denzel Scott. What a beautiful basketball game Denzel's playing. He sees Knight coming over to the top. He drops it off to his point guard. But Knight says he wants Denzel to go to work. He gives it right back. Takes the Daniels screen. Throws the lob to Daniels over Jackson. I'm telling you. Julio Knight has his imprint all over this game. Controlling every aspect of it. Tigers gotta respond offensively and defensively. That's the issue right now as Moreland has the ball. Looking to get Brady into the action. He takes a tough left hand layup and gets it over Scott. You know, as much of a good game as Scott is having, Brady King's having just as good as the game. All right, now the all the Tigers need to do is get a stop here. And then on the next possession, you have all you need. They can't stop you either. Knight. Denzel looking for some action. Gives it to Pope. Kazuki's open. Dishes to the block, man. Uh-oh. Is this the stop that I talked about? Tough three by Kazuki. Doesn't get it. The Tigers get a stop. They're running in transition. Nah, Brady wants to slow the pace down. Oh, what a nice step through. Moreland has it. Screen by Jackson to Brady for a tough right-hand layup. Now it's a two-point game. Good play by the Tigers. Good stop. Right back on offense. Good offensive play. All right, Scott has it. Pope setting a screen for Knight. Knight has it at the top. They're running the play, the unguardable play by Daniels. Ooh, and gets swatted by Moreland as Julio Knight gets stopped for the first time. King takes the pull up too. Game is tied in the third quarter. That's what I'm talking about. I'm just a fan of good basketball, folks. I hope you are too. Timeout, Wildcats. All right. The Wildcats call a timeout. Looking in that huddle, I wonder what was said, but they definitely want to get some offense going here as the last two possessions have been rough. Pope takes it. Knight has it in the post. Excuse me. Scott. They're doing a lot of swinging action here. Denzel has it with 10 seconds left. Drops it off to Daniel. Does Daniel have post moves? Knight has it at the top. They double Knight. Scott's open for three. Woo! And an open three ball by Scott. Beautiful, just beautiful. I'm telling you, Knight has the vision, man. He can see the entire court, even if he had one blindfold on. All right, Moreland down low. That's where he needs to be, working in that post. Dishes it in the paint. And Maxfield puts up a tough layup in traffic. Great play right there. And a great dish by Moreland. All right, Tigers down one again. They need to stop here. They can't let this get to them. But I believe that the night Daniel's screen is just too much for them to handle as Daniel takes an easy layup to the basket. Julio Knight. Leaving his imprint on the game, as you would say. Moreland taking it down low. 
<laughs> and he wanted to attack really fast John Moreland right there. And I like that play by him. He saw his man slipping and decided to just get the right hand layup off. He wants as many possessions as he needs. This Pope's taking King, King Moore off the bounce. Passes to Pope, wide open. And he nets another three ball. Julio Knight with his 12th assist of the night. Just absurd. All right, Jackson looking to put his game. Tough right hand layup, and he finishes it. Now they're down two. Mikel Jackson decided to take Knight off. He, he already took too many offensive possessions off. It's about time he got started. He started getting going. All right, here's Denzel Scott. Play ran for Knight to get him open on the block. Will he take the screen? No. Daniel for three. And that's an interesting shot for Daniels as someone who hasn't shooting, been shooting all night. Will the Tigers take advantage of this play? Three from Maxfield. They do. Derek Maxfield puts up the three ball to put the Tigers up one. How will Kentucky respond? All right, Julio screen, the unguardable. Moreland steps up quick, though. That's the thing. Pope's down low and gets blocked by King Moore. The Knights are using this momentum to their advantage. Maxfield takes it under Knight. Ooh. Great footwork by Mikel Jackson right there to get Knight off balance and not knowing where he was going. Here comes Denzel Scott. This is the largest lead the Tigers have ever acquired this game. Three points. Will they be able to hold it? They're going to the night screen. And he gets through the defense with a left-hand layup. Julio Knight's been doing that all night. They've stopped it a couple times, but not enough times to break the offense. Not enough times to just break the offense. Here's Moreland. Passes back to Mikel Jackson. Brady behind the back. Goes up with the left to the right. Ooh, little jelly on that. A little jelly with some jam. I don't know what was said to the Tigers at halftime, but they have come to play right now. And the Kentucky Wildcats are just going through the motions. Knight gives it to Denzel. No screens being set. The Pope's open on an action. But Kazuki's act open for three and ties the game. Six triples for Kazuki. They're using him as an off-ball shooter. That's what you got to do. Get your shooters open. All right, here's Moreland. Gets stuck in traffic. But back to Brady as... Brady takes a step back, doesn't shoot it, but Jackson's open for three, and he nets his own three, putting the Tigers up three points. This game is this game is coming down to a rough one, and I know that fourth quarter is going to be spectacular. We have 55 seconds left in the third. Kazuki, an open three, ties the game again. That is seven threes for Kazuki, 21 points. Here's Moreland. Back to Brady. Are they going to what's been working? Maxfield doesn't see anything. Jackson trying to force the issue. Puts the layup up on Knight. Now they're just attacking Knight. Getting into his head. Not allowing him. Tiring him out on the defensive end. So he won't produce on the offensive end. But like I told you folks. I don't think any of that matters when it comes to Knight as he's trying to get his team involved. Down low and Pope. Pope puts up a nice right hand post hook. Off the glass, kisses it. Mwah, fresh kiss off the glass. All right, four, 15 seconds left. Brady finds Jackson in the corner for three to put the Tigers up three. And here's Knight with seven seconds. I would clear the paint, but they don't. They find Denzel open. He pumps, takes the mini, nets it home. Beautiful play by Scott to end the third quarter, folks. 
SGBA, we are ready to head into the fourth. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. This is going to be exciting for sure. All right, start of the fourth quarter as we have the State Farm assist of the game. Just a beautiful dime by Mikkel Jackson from Moreland. All right, you guys see the Tigers in the huddle making their game plan out for this fourth quarter. All right, Knight brings up the ball. Let's see who wants it more in these last eight minutes. Daniels has the ball. Finds Denzel open for three. Oh, my goodness. This Kentucky Wildcats just hit every single three they put up. They leave their men open, too, the Tigers. Messing it up. The Tigers have a chance to respond, get this lead back, or go up one. Orland has it. Jackson spins. Right hand floater off the top of the glass to tie the game. Just a beautiful, beautiful play by Jackson. They need to get a stop here, the Tigers. Daniels in the low post. Daniel doesn't shoot much, but they leave him open. Is he going to bite for it? He bites for it and makes it, that's for sure. Chester Daniels with the left hand finish right over Moreland. All right. Now, Kentucky, it would be good for them to get a stop on this possession, but the Tigers need this more than them. Moreland stuck, takes a tough jumper. And that is not the play that they wanted or needed as Kentucky looks to take advantage right here. They double Knight in the hands of Kazuki. He's dribbling all over the place. Takes a tough right-hand layup over the defense. Kazuki with 23 points tonight. Eight for nine, seven for eight from the three-point line. Ridiculous numbers right there, folks. Jackson fakes the screen, goes to the paint and dunks over Kazuki. Lord have mercy, he rose and postered that man. AT&T 5G slam cam. Just beautiful, beautiful effort as the Tigers are down two. Hopefully that dunk is a momentum swinger for the Tigers. Kentucky Wildcats here, Knights getting doubled. Finds the open Pope. Pope looks to post up King Moore. Knight finds Denzel with 10 seconds. Denzel can make a move and make this look pretty, but he sees the cutting. Kazuki for the 25th point of this game. Goodness gracious, call the timeout the Tigers did. All right. Down four with six minutes left. Brady King moving it around. So is Moreland. He gets a little in inside <laughs> and puts it over. Daniels, Chester Daniels does not like the feeling of being dunked on. I'll tell you that, neither would I. All right, Pope bringing up the ball. Denzel was open, he didn't pull that shot, but I like it, he's very patient. And here's Knight, just tossing it every time he gets it. But they run a play for Knight where it gets him open on a down screen, they don't take it. And here's Denzel getting a little shifty here, step back, and he pulls it. Gets to the lane, oh! With a right hand flush. All those dance moves just to get in the paint and dunk on Brady King. Now they're up four. Here's Moreland. Gets trapped by Daniels. Maxfield, like I told you, a quiet night. Oh, they send the double at Brady after the drive, but the beautiful pass by Jackson sees a cutting the beautiful pass by Brady sees a cutting Jackson just nice very nice down two points I've been talking about stops all night for the Tigers but the Knights just have too much it seems like oh the two man action with Daniels he gets by again and puts it on the top of the glass you would think Moreland would go under the screen because Knight hasn't been shooting a lot tonight. But he just keeps going over and fighting for the same play over and over again. Behind the back for Brady King. 
That's the second time he's done that move on Scott and gotten it to work with the left hand flush with contact. No foul. All right, here's Knight. Daniels in the post, giving it to Kazuki. And more fouls. First team foul. Interesting play. Not a lot of fouls called this game. The refs really have been letting them go. All right, here's Knight. Passes to Pope in the corner. He's trying to get busy on King Moore, but Knight sees food instead. Takes the left-hand screen. He goes under this time, but Knight has it. Three seconds. Down to Daniels in the... Wow. What a mismatch play. Just beautiful. A beautiful assist by... Knight, he sees that Daniels has the mismatch with the smaller defender Jackson over him, and he just puts it up like it was nothing. No problem whatsoever. Tucky by five. Four, excuse me. Here's Mikel Jackson. They send a double to him. But Mikel finds a cutting Maxfield for a two-handed flush. All right, all right, with that 6-8 frame of Maxfield. He can dunk over just anybody. All right, here's Knight. They try to double him, but he attacks really fast. Puts up a jumper and nets it right over Moreland. The Tigers have come out blazing this second half, but all the Knights needed to do is just respond as much as they can. He finds a cutting Brady and one play. Scott didn't need to take the foul there. Now the Tigers have a chance of being down one with a Brady free throw. Shooting for Memphis, King, one shot. And ladies and gents, this game is now closer than it ever had been in this fourth quarter. All right, the pressure's on as we're heading to the three minute mark. They send a double tonight, but he dips to Daniels. Daniels is taking it, gets trapped. Tries to put up a tough one. I said tough. It's not tough to these guys. They're ballers. Because that was a that was a nice right hand floaty over the top of his defender. Can't put Max Woodfield in those situations though. As King Moore has the ball. He loves taking it out here this far in the three-point line. They send the double to Jackson so he doesn't get to the paint. They give it back to Moreland. To King Moore. Brady. Gotta find something here. They need this play. Brady for three. Doesn't get it down. What a great defensive stop by the Kentucky Wildcats. Brady King. Kazuki for three. Oh my goodness. Is that the dagger they needed? There's still a lot of basketball left, folks. But that's Kazuki's eighth three of the game. Eight. Eight. All right, guys. All right. Here's Jackson taking it to the cup and dunking right over Daniels. A quick play, but a much-needed play as they are down four. They need a stop here. They need a stop on this possession. The question is, will they get it? All right, here's Knight. Taking it to himself, stops and gets blocked. The stop the Tigers needed. They're in transition. Jackson's crossing. He gets it to King Pope down low. And King, excuse me, King Moore flushes it. Now that they're down two points, now can they get another stop? What I've noticed is when the Tigers get one stop, they're bound to get another stop on the same play. But they go to the Daniel screen. He likes to switch. Kazuki's open, but they contest it. That's another stop for the Tigers. Down two points with a minute and 20 seconds left. Moreland has the ball. 18 on the shot clock. Doesn't like what he sees. Gives it to Jackson. Uh-oh. I see a double, but Brady for three. Oh, my gosh. That is a beautiful play by the Tigers to find the open Brady for the three-point shot to put them up by one point with a minute left remaining in this game. Wow, folks, just amazing as Denzel's open a little bit. They go to the Daniel screen. They, they send the double. Daniels is open. 
or it gets blocked by Brady! Oh my gosh, what a great defensive play. Max Field in the corner for three! Timeout, Kentucky. What a sequence for the Tigers. Much needed. Wildcats looking real shook. They don't know what to do here. Knight takes it all, finds it open. Kazuki, he fumbles the ball. He fumbles the pass for the wide open three ball. And takes a foul with 30 seconds left on the clock for the game. He knew he needed to foul to get another try at this. But they seem to not be fouling here. What's going on? They send the double. Maxfield doesn't catch the pass, but they're wasting as much clock as they need to. It seems like the Tigers came and stole this one. Maxfield open for three on the last play of the game. What a sequence for the Tigers. How will the Wildcats respond with 15 seconds? Kazuki for three, a tough one. Doesn't get it to go down. And that right there, folks, is called a momentum swinger. What a beautiful game played by the Tigers and the Kentucky Wildcats. Just amazing the how the Tigers the pulled it together at the end, keeping Thank themselves in the game the entire time. I can't wait to check out this box score as Jackson, Moorefield, King, King Moore all put in the effort to work this team. Player of the game goes to Michael Jackson. He was all in the paint tonight, dunking on everything he saw. And when it mattered most, he showed up. He showed up. Julio Knight with 31 points and 16 assists. Just nasty. As Kazuki and Scott led the way on his team too. And 35 and 11 and what a duo. XGBA family. I'm having real fun watching these games. That's all. I'll see you later.